Hi everybody, this is Anandal. Someone requested that I do a body review for the Bunny 9 body. Some of you might already know, I did own two of the bodies, so I had this female one, and then I also own the male body for the Bunny 9 with the peanut head, and both of them are in chocolate skin. I did sell my other body with the peanut head, so I no longer have that. And as you can see, I don't have a head on this body currently. I usually put a With Doll Kathy head on this. I will include some pictures at the end of this video of the body next to the other male body and with the Kathy head on and what my Bunny 9 peanut looked like, if you're interested. So I purchased this body, or I put in the order for it and had a two-part layaway. I did that at the end of November 2015, so I caught them on during the Pepero event, and that's kind of like an event based on one of their candies, so they had like this chocolate skin special event, and this is what that chocolate skin looks like. I, I tried to match it with my With Doll Real UV Resin, but it has a bit of a more orange tone than what my With Doll Kathy Real UV Resin has. So hopefully this lighting is good enough to see that. It's a very pretty color. The resin is pretty toothy, which I actually really like. It feels nice, but it still has like a little bit of texture. It really helps for certain poses. I don't think this is the best poser, but for certain aspects of posing, um, I'll talk about that later when I move on to the legs. So here's the top bottom view. And really quickly, let me show you the extra parts right here. Currently, this is the flat feet that she's got on, and then here is one of the heeled feet. So it's got the higher arch right there at the bottom of the foot. And you can see some seam lines. There's definitely seam lines on the stall, um, which is harder to get rid of because of this skin color, this resin color that I ordered. And then for the female body, um, you do get an extra pair of hands. So the female body, I believe, comes with the fist. Um, I'll include pictures, you might, you might be able to see the fist there, but currently I've got her holding the open hands. And then on my boy body, the boy body came with these extra hands, which are kind of like holding hands to hold objects. I think they're really nice. So the resin does have bits of... Here you can see bits of... Um, let me see if you can catch that right there. You see that marbling in the fingers? So I only see that in very harsh lighting, like in very bright daylight, just like right now. In dimmer light, it's very hardly noticeable. In pictures, it's rarely noticeable. So you see you've got... No, oh, that's dust right there. <laughs> that one's dust at the top. But there on the sides of the fingers, you can see that. Hopefully that's focusing. So just be aware of that. Um, in many companies, um, ordering like a, a, a resin color with a certain amount of pigment will have that problem. So, But to me, it's hardly noticeable. And I truly do like the feel of this resin a lot. So onto the body, uh, one note again about my Withdall Kathy head, I did need to give her a hot glue donut, I, I just made a hot glue donut that was wrapped around here in order to make the head high enough. So this is the collarbone detail, I do like the sculpting detail in this doll by the way. The chest is one piece, this abdomen chest area is just one single piece, there's no um, chest joint here to bend to you know lean backwards or lean forward that's all one single piece here at the arms this is what it looks like on the inside there's a little bit of dust there And this is what the peanut at the elbow looks like. You can see that there. 
So this is supposed to be considered double jointed. I don't think it works as successfully as the other elbow peanuts that my other dolls have. So this arm can do a very nice looking 90 degree angle. But then the problem I think um, when I was trying to pose this doll, I was trying to engage the double joint. And this is as far back as the double joint goes, whereas my other dolls had have an easy time just doing poses like this. But because of the way this peanut is shaped, that's the maximum that that second jointing in, in the peanut is able to move it. But if there was a head, so that can still touch the face if there was a head on this doll. I do like the sculpting right here. You see these little indents that marks the elbow even when it's closed. I think that's really, I really like that kind of detail. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera with her feet. And you can see some of these seam lines here right there and the here are the gaps where you, you can see the hooks and the hands they're pretty deep that's what the first thing I noticed about this doll when I first opened the box was how deep these um, exposed areas are so you can see the wires and the S hooks so for the hand, that's straightforward. That's as far as it can go that way. That's as far as it can go back. It's not that great. I think if you put in a little hot glue right there, just to make it sit up even higher, it would definitely have an easier time bending that much. So. Not that great, but not terrible. So I do think the texture of the resin helps hold the poses a bit. The toothiness helps the pieces stay up. Of course, uh, hot glue could probably do a better job, but I still think right out, of uh, right out of the box, it's pretty good. So here's the lower area of the abdomen. And I do like that these swivel joints at the thighs are really high. I think it, uh, aesthetically, it looks nicer. And so you can turn the leg. And here it's labeled with an L, and then you can do the Actually, I've never tried this with this body. I'm not sure. Can you do this? Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe you can't. If anyone else has this body, I'm a little confused about how to do that. You know, the hugging the knee position? I've never actually tried it with this body. Okay, sit down. Okay, actually, maybe because the swivel joints are so high up, I guess that encourages you not to do that pose, the hugging the knees in a sitting position. But she does do a very cute pose like this. I really like it when they sit like that. And the knees are just single jointed. That's what that looks like. It's labeled on the inside once more. And that's it at a perfect 90 degree angle and it's very sturdy that way. Um, I never restrung this body also, and it's just, it sits really sturdy just like this at the 90 degree angles. It's really good. And here are the feet. The toothiness of the resin, it really helps grip in the ankle area, so I think it's a really good solid stander, like standing. Here is, let's see if I can do this. Let's try to point upwards. That's as high as it can go. Just as far inward as possible. And then, let's see here, side to side. 
And you can see how wide or exposed that that is. I think it has a funny shape. I think that's what really caught me the most is that it it's like a really giant V shape. It it just it was startling. It's not and it doesn't look ugly to me at least. You, you might have a different um, thoughts about that, but yeah. Um, here is what it looks like on the inside here. Nine nine style. So the, I saw that the leg parts were all labeled. I'm not sure all the arm parts. There's an L there. I wonder if, oh yeah, oh yes, there's definitely L's throughout the arm too. So it's nice and labeled for restringing purposes as well. And I think that's it. Solid standing and solid sitting. Um, I don't think there's a lot of fluid motion because it lacks the it lacks the joint here in the in the chest under the bust. Um, I guess I did like this high swivel joint, but if you wanted to do the hugging the knees pose, I don't think you'll get that out of this doll. The double jointed elbows, I wish that it did go in more, but maybe you could use wiring and hot glue to make it maybe even modding, but I don't think just like this the the double joint isn't um, that appealing to me. It doesn't seem that much different from the 90 degree. See, that's the double joint and engage. That's the 90 degree. Um, I guess it's better than nothing, but I wished, it, I wished it was better. But I do love the sculpting of this body. I think the hands are beautiful, the body's really beautiful, the little details. I think the back of the ankles are really lovely. The back of the elbows here I just really love. Here's the shoulder blades and the spine. It's really nice. Just a really great body. So this is 35 centimeters tall with a head. If you if you buy one of the 99 style heads, from the bottom of these flat feet to the top of this neck, that is 30 centimeters, and then you add whatever height your head is going to be. And it does come in normal skin, um, I think white skin as well. Um, this is the chocolate skin that I'm showing you. And there are some really cute codes. So. When I was dressing up these Bunny Nine bodies, I did buy clothing from Nine Nine Style meant for the Bunny Nine body. Here's one of them. I did fit some. This is a MSD shirt, and some mini fee size tops can fit them. You might have to roll up the sleeves a little bit. For the bottoms, I would just stick with pants from Nine Nine Style. You can put mini fee skirts on them. MSD skirts might be a little bit too wide. Um, I do think their thighs are pretty thick compared to slim minis. I remember I had a hard time putting on socks or stockings and tights on this doll, whereas they were easily able to go over my with doll body. So yes, I'll be putting pictures at the end of this. I hope this was helpful and you can ask me questions. Maybe I missed something that you were wanting particular information about. So I will put also links to the two box openings. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.